Hi guys, welcome back to this out of fashion. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut this trendy corset back. Talking about is it has a slash, a straight slash at the back using this at the beneath. This is what you're going to slash on. You can see this is organza fabric, and this is the lace fabric that I've already cut out. This is the back, the initial back they want to use, and this is my facing. You can see the two facing for both sides. So the first thing you're going to do is to place it on each other this way then you take the length of the um depth the depth of the back then i'll make yeah i'll be making use of 8.5 inches with the same allowance 8.5 inches this is my 8.5 inches as you can see so from this 8.5 inches i'm going to take a measurement of let me say five inches from here this is this measurement i'm taking they are not constant it depends on how low you want your back to be and how um this area how um the length of this area depends on your measurement you're using so that's why i'm using um four inches uh, five inches here then the deepness of the back is going to that's the depth of the back it's going to be 8.5 inches so if on this 5 inches i'm going to cut down to this 8.5 inches so i'm going to straight my 8.5 inches to this inch to this end you can see it i'm straightening it down to this end you can see a straight line if you take measurement from here it's going to be 8.5 inches for me it's going to be 8.5 inches then from here i'm going to cut my line. i can use a free hand to just cough it now what you need is a one shape at that neck at that back a one shape at that back so i'm trying to make a free sketch in here you can see so by the time i cut it out you're going to see it properly you can see it now you can see the shape so the next thing to do now is just to cut it out so you can see the back now you can see where you left it this is what we want now this is what we're going to use to cut the organza so the first thing we're going to do now fold the organza into two after folding it into three you're going to take this and place it on it i'm not going to divide the organza so that by the time i'm stitching the slash on it it should be straight so this is what i'm going to use you can see what i'm using for my slash this is um one inch so you can see it's one inch so you can make it of that velvet trim is but yeah i'm making use of this and this is a duchess fabric i tried to cut out three inches then i folded it into two i stitched it with half inch and then i turned it then this is what it gave me i can see the length now i'm left with one inch and this is the um exact measurement that i needed so you cannot take this out now this after placing it this way place it very well so i don't shift you know the organza is not well filmed and you have to place it properly so you can see so this is what i'm saying after placing it now you have to add some inches to of that the same amount let me say half inch to this area half inch to this area, then half inch to this area so by the time you saw it it's going to give you the exact measurement you cut out so i can do it with free hand because i've mastered it so i can easily cut the half inch with this then if you cannot do it you can use your chalk to add an half inch to it so i'll be able to cut it very well but yeah i can do it so you can see how it is now you can see the additional of half inch for the seam allowance and you can see the cuttings so i'm going to take this out i'm done with this after placing all this on um this um organza the next thing to do is to divide this area into two the reason i'm not dividing into two at initial here is that by the time i divide it into two and i'm trying to place it it might not be equal again that's why i would like to place it together then divide it so that the um so that the lines will be equal so i'm going to hide on this out so i can get the middle 
this is after the high only you can see it so i'm going to open it this way then this is my uh, one inch i'm going to start from here and then i'm going to make sure the distance between them is constant maybe if i want to use one inch distance it must be constant so i to make it nice and turn out fine so let me go and do that and show it to you to do the first placing this is how to place it on it you can see then make sure it's come out at this edge don't do it this way so by the time you are sewing it it won't affect the um the organza so you have to take it out a little bit then you leave half inch here for the sewing allowance like this then you make sure there's an half inch going out with this um this thing we are, the, the, with the dodgers we are making use they're going to be an half inch out too then you start sewing So you can see the other side too we are going to place the second step leaving half inch distance you can make any inches of a choice and make sure you leave half inch here leave half inch at the other side and this one also is going to be half inch see now so the next thing now is to iron it so i'm going to iron it then i'm going to fold it into two for me to be able to cut out the neckline so let me go and do that and show it to you So this is after joining it, you can see this is the right side and this is the wrong side. So I'm going to cut out the neckline now. The wideness of the shoulder I'm using here is 4 inches. So the many inches I'm using for the neckline. 4 inches. So the many inches here, that is um, 4 point four inches you can see it's for the neckline you know it carries um zip allowance so the deepness is going to be 1.5 inches yeah so from here i'm going to connect it to this area So after cutting it out, I'm going to divide the back for the zip to pass through it. So you can see. This, this is now the two back. You can see it. So this is my lace. That I'm going to add this to now. You can see. This is going to complete this. So this is how is going this is this is how this is going to be and the other side too this is how is going to be
you cannot see how beautiful this turns out now so let me go and join it and show it to you mm. welcome back here the finished shot so far this is the back of the corset you can see you can see how beautiful this turns out you can see the way they um line together the line is as if we didn't cut it at all you can see it so if you place yours um exactly like this you're going to get it as well so this is the front of the corset i've done the tutorial on how to put a bony on the backs this is the backs this is a corset so i'm going to put the link under the description of the video you are watching now so if you're new to my channel please and enter this time to subscribe to my channel and also on your notification bell so that whenever i upload any other suitable tutorial like this you'll be notified see you in my next class bye